All right, today I just want to record a timer for you. That way you don't even have to search for one. You got me, you got the timer. That's all you need. This is for your core exercises. This is for your five minutes of core. The timer is going to run for five minutes straight, one minute right after the other. Every minute on the minute, you will start a brand new exercise. So you're going to listen to my cues and be ready for those exercises. The first thing I want you to do is pick out five core exercises. What are they going to be? And get your mat ready. That's all you need to do. That's all you need to do. Be thinking about that. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you so you can see the timer. There it is. All right. And we are ready. You get down toward that mat. You're thinking about your first exercise. You've got 10 seconds. You've got 10 seconds to be ready. Get into position in four, three, two, one. You are on that exercise. You are on that exercise right now. So you're going to do this exercise for as long as you can during this minute. Uh, if you need a rest, you know, you just take it. You can either take it in the middle and then join back, or when you've had enough of this exercise, you can take a rest and wait on that bell for that next minute to start for exercise number two. That's how this works. That's how this works. So you're just getting as much as you can within that minute. You have about 30 more seconds. You're halfway through this first exercise. Now go ahead and get your mind thinking, what's next? What is my next exercise? And I need for you to not hold your breath. Don't hold your breath. Make sure you are breathing. Breathe in and breathe out. And you know, hey, it helps if you have some music in the background. I can't play you music and a timer at the same time. So you get your own music going. Come on, you've got eight more seconds on this exercise. We are getting ready for the next one. In four, three, two, one, next exercise. You're straight to it. Straight to it. As soon as you can get set up for it, you start on it. And you are breathing, you're breathing in, you're breathing out. Now let's talk a little bit about that breath. I want you to exhale on the exertion, on the exertion. So anytime you're in the easy part of the exercise, that's the inhale where you're digging deep down in that gut for some power in that diaphragm. And then as you exert energy, that's when that exhale happens. They kind of dig down that power. The power comes with the exhale. You've got 27 more seconds on this exercise. I haven't forgot you. That timer is still running. But the most important thing is you just breathe. If you can't remember when to breathe, just don't hold your breath. If you're on an isometric hold like a plank, you just breathe steady in and out. You have 12 more seconds. Be getting ready for this next exercise. Exercise number three happens in five, four, three, two, one. Here we are. Exercise number three. You're having at it. Now let's talk a minute about speed. Please don't be going too fast. I want those muscles to have time under tension. No jerky swinging motions. You are just doing what you can. Nice and slow, easy, contracting the abs. You are bracing the abdominals. That's going to protect the low back. In most core exercises, that tailbone's tucked under. You've got a little slight pelvic tilt going on and you are holding that low back nice and braced and those abs nice and tight in whatever you're doing. You have 25 more seconds on this and you're not speeding. You're not speeding. You're going the speed limit here. Nice and slow, nice and tight. You have 15 more seconds. If you need a rest, now's a good time to take it, getting ready for that next exercise. You have two more exercises after this. What's the next one? It's happening in five, four, three, two, one, here it is, here it is. You're on exercise number, I don't remember what number it is. You got one more after this, we're doing five. So I guess you're on number four. I guess you're on number four. 45 more seconds of this one. You're doing awesome. I'm so proud of you for getting this done, for getting this done. This is such a good habit, 30 more seconds. The core is everything in exercise and that core is strong. You will set up taller, you'll walk straighter. You'll walk with less pain on your hips and your knees and even your low back when that core is stronger. You have 15 more seconds. I hadn't forgot you, that timer's still going. It's still going, 12 seconds and you have one more exercise. What is your last exercise? What is it? You're getting ready for it mentally. It's happening in five, four, three, two, one, let's do it, let's do it. <laughs> let's, she says as she's dressed here, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm filming this on a Sunday, I'm getting ready to go to church. <laughs> I got my church clothes on. I'm not working with you today. 
but never fear. I will be, I will be doing this with you during the challenge. So I'm with you in spirit. I'm with you in spirit. You have 40 more seconds. Thirty more seconds, and then you'll be done. Your five minutes will be over. You'll be ready to move on about your day. So when's a good time to do core exercises? They're great to do as a warm up, as a precursor to other exercise. If you plan on exercising more, they're great to do first thing in the morning. They're great to do uh, last thing at night. When is not a good time? Ten more seconds. I'm trying my best to distract you. <laughs> Come on, we've got this together. In five, four, three, two one and you are done and you are done high fives to everybody i'm so proud i'm so proud go enjoy the rest of your day